Well, more than a third of marriages end in divorce. In fact, last year alone, more than 8,000 married couples split. Now, on the upside, that means there are plenty of people looking for love. Many have children who need to be introduced to the new partner. So how do you successfully blend a family? In Coffee Group today, we welcome back John Cowan and welcome to the show, Adele Cornish. Now, Adele, you run workshops for blended families. What is the most common problems that you get, that people address in your workshops? I think, Mel, it would have to be around discipline. Ultimately, couples come with different experiences to the blend, to the new blended family, and so I think part of the process, a crucial part, is involves looking at the rules, roles and responsibilities that each person takes on in that family. It's about coming up with creative and new ways of doing things differently than perhaps what they've done them before. It can be difficult, can't it? Especially if you've got children, if you're going into the relationship and you've both got children exactly the same age, perhaps. Yes, that's right. If you've already got systems in place that they're used to and then you're wanting to do things slightly different than a new family can oh, be a challenge. So many minefields yeah. to negotiate. Now John, what, uh, at what point in a new relationship should you be looking to introduce your child to your new partner? There's no advantage in rushing. This new wonderful person might tick all your boxes and you think they're fantastic but when they come on the scene for your children, if they're young they, they will find this very confusing, maybe scary. If they're older they might react angrily and so do it gently, do it gradually and uh, don't expect a great reaction at the start. It'll okay. be a long trust building process. So there's not a particular time, it's just when it feels like it's the right time? I think that uh, if you're dating and the relationships are fairly casual, there's probably no point in introducing them to your kids. Uh, but if the relationship looks like it's got, uh, got some legs and going to be going the distance, then I think you'd think about how to do it, but do it intermittently, gradually, build up the exposure. Okay. Now, Adele, you've had a lot of experience with the different stages that the blended families go through. Can you tell me a bit about those? There's a number of stages, um, starting with the fantasy stage. You know, you meet the person of your dreams yeah. and you think life's yeah. going to be wonderful from now on. Rose coloured glasses. Rose coloured glasses, glasses, that's right. Reality hits and you realise it's perhaps a little bit more hard work than what you thought. And then you move through to, to the decision stage and there's lots of things to negotiate and working through those areas together. Typically that there becomes a lot of conflict during those stages and people think, oh no, you know, is this worth it? But it definitely is worth persisting through that. But really what the stages highlight is that blending is a process. It's really about learning to accept and respect and care for each other along that journey. Okay, let's talk a little bit about, <coughs> excuse me, about the discipline involved. John, what do you need to do? Can you discipline a stepchild? I think so, but only after the relationship's established. The little motto, I think, is rules about relationship lead to rebellion. And so I think the best thing is to support the bio-parent and their discipline while you're building up the relationship to the point where maybe you can have some role in discipline. This can have so many problems, though, can't it, in the, in the yeah. relationship. You can, you, do you have to remember that it's not your fault or your partner's fault the way you discipline your children, or do you have to have some serious uh, discussions about these things? You're going to have communication. An, an, you're going to have a natural defence of your own bio children, and you have to consciously overcome some natural biases. There's going to be the blending of the different value systems that are naturally going to occur, and so yes, lots of talking between couples and with the kids. Okay, just finally, then, what would be the one take-home piece of advice then for people that are watching at home right now who are going through this, Adele? What would you say is the one thing that they need to be thinking about right now? I think step family education is very, very important because the dynamics in a step family are very different to a first family and so it's important that couples know what are realistic expectations and how to bring children on board with those. And in fact we've got a workshop coming up on the 11th of June at the Parenting Place in Auckland for people that are in the Auckland area. Okay, that sounds like very sound yes. advice. And John, from you? Just reassuring your children that this isn't going to impact your relationship with your children or with the or with the other parent. Right, you still love them just as much. Well that has been truly fascinating. I'm sure very enlightening for a lot of our viewers. And if you need more advice about successfully blending your family, check out Adele's website, blendedfamilyfocus.com. Great stuff. Thank you so much, John and Adele.